Good day, everyone. This is Chris at the Ancient Scholar. I just thought I'd make a real quick video. I'm actually on my way to hit the gym up for a good hour or so in between uh, classes, uh, or actually getting ready uh, to teach a refresher course uh, uh, a couple hundred miles away. So I'm actually going to be doing a real long commute tonight and then real busy for the rest of the week. Anyway, I just wanted to go over this news real quick. Uh, this is news out of CERN, of course. Um, uh, CERN, a, a Center for European Nuclear Research, where uh, the Lar Large Hadron Collider is, and they've been obviously uh, searching uh, for a particle known as a Higgs boson. And it basically, uh, why this is important, it's really important for, for one major reason that I can see, and that is our current model um, of explaining uh, particles, the, uh, particle physics, and how particles interact, and and what what particles are and so on is something known as a standard model and I've done some videos on that um, uh, I've done some videos on that earlier but uh, uh, one of the the problems with the standard model is it doesn't really predict that particles have mass well obviously we know particles have mass and the mechanism the the, the, the most uh, popular mechanism for particles having mass is this uh, this this Higgs this Higgs mechanism, uh, where basically there's a there's something known as the, the Higgs field that supposedly permeates all of the universe, and particles that interact with the Higgs field through the agency of the Higgs boson um, get their mass. The more they interact with the boson, the Higgs boson, the more mass they have, and if they don't interact, then, then they don't have any mass. Um, and that that is the the most popular uh, common. Uh, way that, that we can um, kind of uh, ensure that the standard model does predict that uh, uh, certain particles have mass. Um, they have been searching for the Higgs boson with the Large Hadron Collider. Um, they th the theoretical physicists have sort of a range where they think the certain mass range that the Higgs has, and we're certainly uh, capable of getting to those energies. and. Um, the new news is out today, and from what I understand, from, from what I've read, uh, there's no Higgs boson. That doesn't mean there isn't a Higgs boson, it just means that we, we really haven't found it. Uh, they may be narrowing down on uh, the kind of the energy range, the mass uh, range. Uh, is it 114 gig electro -vol electron volts, 125 gig electron volts? Um, you know, we've kind of narrowed the range down, so that's kind of where we're at. Uh, not really going to be doing a whole lot more work uh, on the Large Hadron Collider till till the new year, till after the new year. I mean, obviously, there's a whole lot of data um, that you know they, they still need to to go over and interpret. But um, as as of now, uh, the, the, there have no big changes in in um, you know our current theories or understandings, other than that you were we're narrowing down on uh, the possibilities of where the Higgs could be, and uh, I, I I I assume within probably I would assume within the next year, maybe a couple of years, uh, we'll either we'll either find it or we won't, and we'll really have to change things, and uh, it'd be pretty exciting if we don't find a Higgs boson. Actually, uh, I think that would. Uh, lead to probably a lot, a lot of progress uh, scientifically. But anyway, that's my take on uh, the news that just came out um, of CERN today. As always, thanks for hanging in there, guys.